What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob back at it. And if you're new here, welcome to Deadly Spiders Diecast. Yeah, I finally got it. Uh, my my black Porsche 959 or 959 uh, from the Hot Wheels RLC Club. I don't know how many of y'all got yours or ordered, been able to order one, missed out. But thankfully, you know, I was able to get one the day of the sale. But it took a, a while for your mind to show up. Finally showed up today. Um, I already took it out just to take pictures for my thumbnail. But, you know, just for presentation's sake, I just decided to put it back in the box. I know some of y'all like that. You know, so, there y'all go. But anyway, uh, last week it was already in Arkansas. In fact, you know... In the Little Rock area, where, you know, I live, you know, right outside of Little Rock. But then, you know, they decided to ship it back out to Florida for some reason. Uh, and it took a whole nother week for it to come back you know, here to Arkansas. I just don't know what the deal is with FedEx. I don't know, man. Maybe, um... Hot Wheels, Mattel, they need to dump FedEx, man. They they've been on some bullshit lately. Uh, this is the same problem, you know, I've had with most of my other um packages from them. I guess one reason is, you know, they always have to change the barcode before they ship it out to you. See? Yeah, barcode quality. And that, that was the same thing that was on my other package for my Di Tommaso uh, Mangusta, my second one, that I gave out to uh, Gary from Gary's Diecast Collection. Yo, check that out if you hadn't already. But yeah, um, they always have to change the barcode on that. And that ain't that some bullshit? <clears throat> they can't do their job correctly. Just a simple thing. Y'all got one job, folks. I'm convinced that the Three Stooges are working at them facilities. Shoot, um, Lucille Ball from, you know, I Love Lucy, you know, did a better job when she was working at the chocolate factory. Her and her homegirl was wasting all them, them, them bonbons on the floor. <laughs> They were doing a damn better job than what FedEx is doing. Shit. But anyway, enough ranting. This is what y'all really came for. This uh, nice looking Porsche 959 from the RLC Club. Oh yeah, man. This is really nice. Let's check out the back. Oh, mine's got the pour sticker. I didn't have the pour sticker on my red one. But, you know, I don't really care too much for that anyway. I'm not that dorky. I'm going to turn this you know, sideways. If y'all can read sideways. Y'all can pause that if y'all really want to read that. Give y'all, you know, a better look. All right. Let's get to it, y'all. Wasn't trying to make this that intro too long, but I just had to rant right there. Had to blow off some smoke. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Uh, let me get something out. Yep, had to break out my, my rusty but trusty scissors on this one. The same scissors that, you know, I've been working on my custom projects with. 
they ain't let me down yet. But anyway, let's get back to this car right here. Oh man, this is pretty nice. Oh wow. You know what? I kind of like the wheels um, on this one. I don't know. It's close. Um, kind of dig these five-star wheels on the black one better. But I still like the ones on the red one, too. Got the red interior. All red. Got the front. And pretty nice then you got the back the rear tail lights oh yeah you got the bottom right here painted uh, the engine and transmission yeah pretty nice it's a rear engine car oh yeah got the engine right there Pretty sweet. Guess what? Oh man, check this out, y'all. I don't know if y'all can, y'all can't really see that too good, but you know, up in this part right here, let me get something. All right, I'm back. Y'all see that part that I touched? It says Porsche right there. That little small part. You know, right above the fan. You know, that red part. Right above it. It says Porsche right there. Yeah, that's pretty neat that they added that. Okay, y'all can take a better look. Uh, since I gave y'all a close-up. So yeah, that's really neat. I never would have noticed that. Wow. And this right here, I don't even think this is spectral plane. Uh, this is just you know, maybe a straight up black. And I don't really see any shininess uh, through it. But yeah, that's still a pretty nice looking black. Here, um, let me uh, bust out my red one. Oh yeah, y'all knew I couldn't do this black one without busting my red one out. Sorry for the silence, but yeah, it's got the same thing right there on the red one, too. Yeah. Oh, man. I never would have even noticed that. Okay. Um, so to wrap things up real quick, um, before this video get too long, um, I say I still prefer the, the color of the red one. I just really love the way that Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame Red looks. Excuse me. And then it's the fact that it's got like a, a two-tone interior with the gray seats. Another extra layer of detail. But I kind of, you know, these wheels on the black one seem more period correct. Even though they are a little bit smaller. But yeah, I still like the um, the wheels on the red one too. But yeah, I kind of like both of them equally though, but for different reasons. Now the red one, if you didn't know, um, I missed out on the sale. So I had to buy one off of eBay. But it was for a reasonable price though.
they didn't beat me upside the head too much with their price. So I appreciate that. But this black one, I got y'all on the web, Mattel Creations website the day of the sale. Yeah, I was sweating bullets because I almost missed out on that one too. But as uh, my computer was running super slow that day, I thought I was going to miss out on that one too. But lo and behold, I ended up sealing the deal on it. So yeah, this is freaking awesome. But anyway, um, I know y'all. some of y'all might be tired of me rambling on. But anyway, I guess I can say thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I thank all the new subscribers for hanging in there with me, staying patient. Because it's been tough getting some new stuff lately. Yo, know, with my budget being like it is, yo, know, lately. So, that's why I had to kind of, yo, know, switch lanes a bit and um, start doing my cut, focusing on my custom work. And I got a lot of projects to finish. A lot of them. So, I still have a lot more material to give y'all. But anyway, um, I'm on Instagram. My um, the link is in you know my my homepage on YouTube on my channel. Anyway, um, hit that thumbs up button just to get this content out to other people who 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 might want to see some quality diecast content. And hit the subscribe button. It don't cost you a damn thing, man. It's free. If, you know, you've been rocking with me this long and you ain't subscribed yet. Why not? Get on the ground floor of my rookie year. You know, help a brother out. So anyway, again, I appreciate y'all for, for your patience. Hopefully I won't let you down. So anyway... I'm going to sign off. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>